Jesus to walk with me. When I'm on my lonesome journey, Lord, I want Jesus. I want Jesus to walk with me. Well, I die at the day now for tell Huna something about my ancestor them. I can feel the presence there at the day with me now because I know it to watch over me. I grew up not knowing where I came from or how I got here and why am I being treated as less than a human. You know, our grandmother said, now the buckle chill and go there. It don't look buckle in the eye. He said, honey, can't go over there now for play with them buckle them. We knew that the whites were different, but we didn't really know why. So it was just another day in the life of a little Gullah girl. To walk with me. And they pin ya on these hallowed and secret grounds on this place we call Edisto Island, where I grew up. Oh, freedom. Oh, freedom. Almost everybody that lived on this island were enslaved Africans, our Gullah people. And, be and the island ain't behind nothing but plantation. And oh, they call them the white gold, you know. The cotton and the rice and all the indigo. The enslaved Africans had to find a way to communicate. So that language was pretty much born here in America. Can tell us now you can hear all the trees and again. But the day you hit that tree in the middle again, don't be day you die. My generation is really the last generation to have direct contact with Gullah-speaking people. And Gullah was their only language. And unless we pass it on to our children, then it will die out. It's strip everything from her. All the children that snatch out the arm, carry the baby this way, the mad that way, the pad that way. And they mean they had no sense of family at all. We have to let our young people know about the struggle. We have to go all the way back to Africa, where it all began, so that they know whose back they're standing on. And before I'd be a slave, I'd be buried in my grave. 